everyone. I am back here today with a story from August 1985. Surprise, Mom! It was the middle of the afternoon and the house was quiet. Well, at least as quiet as possible with nine children playing in the backyard. Bob was sleeping in our downstairs bedroom. This would be impossible for most people, but not for a man who tries to make his workday stretch to 24 hours. Since Bob had finally given in to sleep and since it would take two hurricanes, three tornadoes and a swarm of locusts to wake him, I figured it was safe to walk next door to help out my neighbor. Anyway, all the kids knew he was sleeping. I had said it so often. Diane's request for help sounded a bit odd when delivered by one of the noisy nine playing in the backyard, but I went anyway, if only to get away and talk to an adult. After working through a minor problem with Diane's new weather band radio, I examined all the bargains she had acquired while school shopping for her brood, sipped some pop, and just relaxed. Soon it was time to return home. The backyard was empty. So was the front yard, the garage, the barn, and the shed. But I could still hear those noisy nine as I walked in the house. They were all inside. My steps quickened. They knew better. I wasn't going to get upset. I would just have to break up the old gang of nine for the rest of the afternoon. That fair punishment always worked. I walked to the door, ready to watch the mob scatter when I caught them at their mischief. But they didn't scatter. Instead, they yelled, surprise, and sang happy birthday. In the center of the living room was a wobbly table with a homemade chocolate cake and four candles. Balloons were hung everywhere, secured with masking tape to the ceiling walls and paintings. The pop was still in the kitchen, some in an almost wiped up puddle on the floor. What could I say? What could I do? I couldn't reject my own surprise party. I had never had one before. So what if this was a week early? The timing was all part of their plan to make a, it a bigger surprise. So what if the guests ranged in age from 3 to 13? It was all for me and no one else. I did suggest moving everything outside when they brought out the party games. It seemed best if everyone dumped for apples in the yard. Bob didn't make it to the party. I found out later our oldest did warn him about the happenings in the next room. As the time neared for my arrival, Robbie barged into our bedroom and said, Daddy, we're having a surprise party for Mommy. Everyone's coming. Don't come out in your underwear. Thanks, Robbie, Becky, Russell, Rachel, Dawn, Tammy, Carrie, Missy, and Jenny. I can honestly say I've never had a par birthday party quite like the one you gave me. Well, that really was a surprise for me. And I think for Bob, too. <laughs> so that was when I was 35. Oh, my. This weekend, I'm turning 70. I hope you have a good day and enjoy good friends. Until next time.